guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys the fastest way to get cards a lot of people have been asking me this recently so i'm going to go ahead and answer the questions so usually the first way people think of getting cards in anime dimensions is by doing dimensions or time challenge and yeah this is a kind of decent way to do or get cards but if you're not that strong and you complete dimensions in like five minutes and you do like score like 500 in time challenge then that's a pretty bad way to get cards um i mean if you get 500 in time challenge that's actually not too terrible because you can get five cards every eight minutes but there's a most you most likely won't get a legendary and the cards you need are legendaries or mythics now the fastest way to get legendary cards depending on how strong you are will most likely be time challenge if you're extremely strong and you can complete um, one of the new dimensions in like two or three minutes then that's most likely the best way to get cards legendary specifically but what is the fastest way to get mythical cards now first we're going to start off by saying all the ways that you can actually get mythics so you can actually get mythics from the past two dimensions you can get the blood fiend card from devil dimension and the uh beast king versus luffy card from pirate dimension and you can also buy cards from boss rush some people still do this um buying cards from boss rush is actually pretty useful um i would do that if i was you guys and the next way to get cards is by just buying them from raid shop now usually you guys when you try and get cards you'll do dimensions but if you're going for mythic cards then you don't want to do dimensions you're going for mythic cards you want to do raid raid is the fastest game mode for getting mythic cards but it's not the overall fastest way you can drop them and you can buy them with tokens it's possible to get around 100 to almost 150 tokens per raid and as soon as you get up to a thousand just buy any mythic card you want next thing you want to do is spend almost all of your leftover gems on boss rush if you're only trying to go for mythics now i wouldn't recommend doing this if you don't have a hundred thousand stat points because you need to buy skins gem characters just so you can get the hundred thousand stat points is extremely useful but assuming you do have it you do want to spend all your leftover gems maybe save 1.6k or 1k for a new gem character if it comes out but usually you want to try and do boss rushes a lot every day since you get a free ticket entry and spend some gems on it i don't know maybe even drop a mythic um which is extremely rare to get from boss rush but you can also buy it with 1000 tokens but the sad thing is you only get f around 50 tokens every boss rush that's if you get uh somewhere around close to an s um i forgot what the rankings are here they are um i think if you get an s or an s plus um you can get up to 50 tokens maybe 60 so it will take quite a while to get or buy a mythic card from boss rush but it's not it's not too hard to do that and dimensions is just the overall slowest way to get mythic cards because it's such a low chance to get a mythic card and if you're trying to get tons of cards you don't want to do that so now let's go ahead and go off overall what you should do every day to get the fastest or yeah get cards the fastest so first off when you log on you want to do raid and maybe you'll drop a card maybe you'll drop a uh, I don't know. maybe you'll have enough already to buy a card and there you go another card but there you go you just did raid you have some extra tokens now you want to do your speed raid if it's ready of course and get a little bit of extra raid tokens then when you're finished if you have any leftover gems you want to go ahead and go over here and spend them of course only if you have uh 100,000 stat points you want to go over here and spend all these on boss rush and then boom there you go you have some extra boss rush tokens or tickets then you go in here and just do your boss rushes and then maybe you'll drop a mythic card and if not you got closer to being able to buy one then after that you just do pretty much whatever you want now one way to actually help uh, getting more raid tokens is by afk raid afk raid depending on how much damage you do you can get around like 300 gems a night and depending on how much damage you do of course a thousand raid tokens per night which is one card and sometimes you get lucky and drop one or two cards now i actually have a tutorial on how to afk raid and speed raid so you can get a little bit of extra tokens and then you'll actually have an extra 300 gems from afk uh, raid and then here you go you can spend them in here get a little bit closer 
there you go that's the fastest way to get mythic cards now of course while you're done with raid and boss rush and speed raid if, um if you want you can go clear some dimensions maybe get some legendary cards maybe get some mythic cards possibly and there you go with all this um assuming you get around 2k t uh, raid tokens per day you can get around two cards from raid and if you have a lot of gems you can get maybe one kokushibo card per day and that's already three cards and if you're extremely lucky you'll drop one or two tokens from raid or not tokens um uh, cards and then there you go some extra you can earn up to five cards a day it's possible of course to get 10 or over but that's extremely rare but uh yeah a bad way to get uh help in dimensions is by asking for carries just so some of you know please do not ask pros for carries because um, it's, it's mean it's mean you're a little meanie if you do that anyways um if you ever need help with anything make sure to join my discord server and go to the advice channel and anything you need help with um will help you link in the description and uh yeah I'll see you guys in the next video where I fly on a rocket and the rocket explodes, but I'm still alive. Goodbye.